Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Ford Fiesta. Then I'll take you for a short drive in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 1.4 titanium five door, 2010 on a 10 plate, has done 58,668 miles. One owner from new with full history, and it has a long MOT which expires on the 9th of the 12th, 2020. The fuel economy, urban 37.7, extra urban 61.4, combined is 49.6. It has a 0-60 time of 12.2 seconds, a top speed of 109 miles per hour out of a 94 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Road tax, six months is £79.75 and 12 months is £145. So we bought this vehicle into stock and apparently the previous owner had part exchanged it against a new Porsche Macan. So I'm pretty sure that um, he wasn't short of money and that no expense will have been spared looking after this vehicle. I'll just show you around it. So we've got the, the chrome trims in the bumper and around the fog lamp. We've got multi-spoke alloy wheels. It's got power folding door mirrors, rear privacy glass, the chrome separating the windows from the, the body. Electric boot release, two keys there. Rear load cover, independently split folding rear seats. The integrated tailgate spoiler, rear privacy glass again in the back. So in the, in the back here, quite a bit of room. I've had to put my uh, seat forward. Back seats are like absolute new. Putting the rear headdress up is a better workout than going to the gym. They've, they've obviously never been used, but uh, one, once you've got them up then, it's quite comfortable for a, an adult to sit in. We've got floor mats that look like they've been in from new. It's, it's absolutely, it's like brand new in the back. It really is, it's lovely. No child locks today, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Remote central locking, proper ignition key. Not sure what that was for. Um, we've also got a proper stamped service history here. So, um, 1st of the 3rd, 2011, 5,355 miles at Burns Garage. And then where does it go from there? Does it go down at the right? It goes across. So, JRT Motor Services Australia, obviously there, stamped upside down. 3rd um, of 7th, 2014, 26,097 miles. You've got one job, stamp it right way up. You can't do it time to retire then we go 11th of the 2nd 2016 at uh, 35,388 miles bridge mill motors um, 28th of 2nd 2017 40,893 bridge mill motors here we go 23rd of the 2nd 2018 46,824 at Brookside Garage and MOT Centre and then 25th of 2nd, 2019, 53,010 Brookside Garage and MOT Centre. And there uh, it's just saying what they've done, which is always good to see. Full service, oil, air and pollen filters and, and plugs. So, so, as I say, proper service history. We've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel that's probably never been used from new and uh, I'll just take you for a ride in it turn the heater down that's absolutely nuclear at the moment we've got here let's just see there we go we've got power folding door mirrors and 
turn that over there I could just it's, it's actually the, the switch is in a different position than I'd expect so knocking down is pulling back towards you and uh, going out is where you would expect up I think perhaps that's the switch in the wrong place somebody's put it in the wrong place anyway there we go off for a ride that's uh, Fiesta's probably I'm just trying to think my uh, favourite little car for uh, I'm not, I'm, perhaps I'm not sure that's true it's in my top three uh, favourite little cars uh, being I suppose the Corsa and uh, also Fiat 500 but uh, when, it, when I was young these were the cars to have easy to work on very seldom went wrong uh, very stylish good looking cars it's uh, Saturday before Christmas today horrendous traffic all going into town and nobody for giving way so I'm afraid we're going to have to make a space not something I'd recommend really great handling with the Fiesta this being a petrol a little bit nippier than the diesel kind of easier to wind up good specs on these heated front screen too shy I'm going to go with too shy as opposed to tushy but uh, he was looking to get his rover shortened then I think gosh it must be a rover convention there's, uh, there's another one up there I suppose it should be around here, the heart of British Leyland country. Nice, nice turn of speed the car's got. I have to say, only a five speed gearbox but uh, it's probably enough it's not really a car for going up and down the motorway more for round town I know in the latest Fiestas the 5th uh, the and 6th gear really are um, kind of surplus to requirements you, uh, you can, they're like two overdrive gears the motorway so a nice comfortable chair or seat we've got height adjustment here on the side nice reach adjustment got electric windows in the front multifunction steering wheel Bluetooth hands-free and also audio streaming Uh, heated front screen there, heated rear screen, 
your uh, climate control or automatic air con, whatever you want to call it, your radio controls here. Over here on the right hand side, let's just get on the motorway, we've got cruise control. So just click it on there and set. And we'll increase the speed and pull out into traffic here. We're in fifth, just uh, hopefully these cars in front will get a hustle on doing 70 miles an hour there just over 3,000 revs the cruise is working correctly as it should just knock it off I'll keep it on actually it's nice and quiet So lovely inside, absolutely like new. Great little car for somebody, up to 60 miles to the gallon, 61 miles to the gallon, under uh, ideal circumstances, conditions. Nice color combination. Uh, metallic grey, I um, must tell you one thing, on the driver's door, which is in the photographs, there is a dent which has cracked the paint, it's round about here on the outside, it's about so big, it's just been touched up, again, I think most people, it, to do a door these days, it's probably uh, two to three hundred quid, I think most people would probably have or rather have 300 quid in the pocket especially coming up to Christmas than and put up with the, the little ding but if you don't if you couldn't put up with it um, it's not a deal breaker we would get it done we'd have to put it on the price but whatever it costs us that's that's what we charge it's we're, we're not looking to make any money out of it but it just gives you the option I, uh, it, it kind of it takes all sorts. Some people, um, years and years ago, I had the cleanest inside, cleanest Vectra ever. But outside, it was dented on every panel. And I advertise it on Auto Trader as uh, having been between two buses uh, and a helicopter, and the chap chap rang up from Wales and asked how bad it was on the outside and I said it's really really bad um, and he said well that's great that's just what I'm looking for it's tidy inside and rough on the outside he says because I park in uh, uh, in a block of flats at the end and my car is next to the fence and all the uh, the people from the estate at the back jump over the fence onto the roof of my car, onto the bonnet and they use that as a shortcut to go to the pub so that's great. So there's a car for everybody but getting back to that, if you couldn't put up with a dent then we would have it done. The rest of the car is uh, is pretty nice and as you would expect. Um, the mileage is great, the service history is great, one owner, 
it's a shame about that. Uh, it would be perfect otherwise, but uh, I'm afraid that's life. The uh, traffic officers there are giving me the, the once over, wondering what I'm doing with all these cameras. I wouldn't like to cross that guy, he looked like the bloke out the wire. 50's not fast enough for this lady, even though it is the speed limit. So she's decided to undertake me. And uh, another. And Fiesta's. Oh. We've got a CD radio, Bluetooth hands-free. We'll just give these people a, uh... oh crikey. These people in front time to get round here. Um, it's just been MOT'd so there won't be anything wrong with the suspension. But um, these undulating curves here and the bumps, uh, if there is anything wrong, it really, really brings the stuff to light. I also don't want to knock this cyclist over on my test. Just loading the front wheel there. Nothing, no, no cracks or knocks. Let's say the side to side there, if there's anything wrong with the steering, um, it usually uh, complains. Kestrel up there. Something's about to meet its doom. And although I never speed up here, I think uh, there's either an obstruction in the road or there'll be I don't know, I don't know what that is. Anyway, we're not in a hurry. So I'll finish the test drive there. Um, it's probably a bit too late for Christmas, but you can always check out our web store. Um, our website is ggcars.co.uk. Got all our cars on and, and we'll have in the future and you can get to the uh, the web store through that thanks for watching everybody have a nice christmas and a happy and prosperous new year and uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you